Welcome to Kitty Place Morrowind. I'm Nighty, the Black Panther Kitty, and I'll be your host for this episode. So, last time we were tasked to take a message to um, yeah we, where we are currently are. But the thing is, before I do this, I have a few announcements, or a single announcement, which for you YouTube viewers will be rather big. Yeah, I decided to change things up. You, you know that all the times I, um, after at the end of the episode, I cut in me rolling dice, which meant that whenever I ran out of dice rolls, I had to re-record a list of dice rolls. No, because I didn't record like one dice roll for every for every number, and then just uh, then just cut them in every time. No, I actually did um, tw about twenty dice rolls every time and um, then just cut them in one after the other and then just use them in the order that I took them. And when, the, when I ran out of recordings, I just did new ones. I decided not to do this anymore for, uh, for once because I am lazy, uh, as cats are, basically. And the second reason is um, that I think being able to for you to to easier tell when the episodes come and how long things will take will be an improvement. Also, since I have before I recorded this, I have recorded all of the Half Life uh, episodes, which come out every Friday. I decided during recording this to do a thing which I will call Morrowind Monday, and yes, this means starting with the next episode. Every Morrowind episode, every Monday, there will be a new Morrowind episode. So next Monday will be the next Morrowind episode, and from there on, every Monday. I hope that I that this somehow my, my rambling makes any sense, and you now understand what I mean. What what I mean. So from now on, every Monday, new Morrowind episode, Morrowind Monday. And now let's head on with the actual episode. Let me real quick just check this off. There we go. And now here we are delivering a message to some guy for the Telvanni Council. I am S, um, not tens. I'm, I'm looking for words in English. It's It's been a long time that I did Let's Plays in English. I did the whole life thing in German. I need to switch back to Let's Playing in English. I'm sorry, you will have to endure this. Anywho, um, Excited, that's the word that I was looking for, by the way. I am as excited as you are, hopefully, to see what will happen, because, of course, I have not done this yet. I have never played as a Tilvani mage. So let's enter Onyx Hall in Telfer. Ah, hello there. Um, I'm Nighty. I've, I've, I bear a message for... I guess for you. As I said, there is there is a message for... Um, oh, have you come to plunder the dungeon? Or have you got the copper's disease? Or did you come to see Dwaithfer? I'm Baithfer. I'm the wife of Dwaithfer. One of them, sort of. So you, you're, you're the wife of Dwaithfer, but I got a message for him. Yeah, well, not a wife in the married sense, but you know, paramour, consort, something like that. It's a bit awkward, really, because, well, he made us two, so though we aren't really his daughters or anything, it's like we were his daughters, because he made us, you see? Oh dear, this is getting complicated. Uh, what about this copper's disease thing? Everyone who gets Copper's disease comes to our Coprosarium. It's not very pleasant, but at least they're all fed and cared for. Ah, okay, so you are you have a, a disease center for this unhealable disease. Well, where is your husband then? He's up above in his study. I hope you could fly. You can't get there unless you can fly or have potions. Sorry. Well, let me check whether I can actually fly. I am... I think I should have... Yeah, someone teach me that. Water walking, water breathing. Let's just real quick check. Paralysis mark. 
It's been very long. No, it doesn't look like I can do this, but maybe I have the majoring, which, well, fortifies stuff. And what kind of scrolls do I have? I'm CV intervention. And do I have rising force? There we go. Levitation for 10 seconds, uh, for, for 30 seconds. So let's first, before we take this, let's first see where we need to fly, right? <clears throat> uh, first warm up beneath the fire or in front of the fire, that is. Ah, warm, nice and warm. Okay, and then let's see. Upwards we go. This is the Hall of Fur. And there is another hearth fire. And lots of books. Well, it is it is a major store after all, right? It's got lots of books here. There is where he sleeps. This looks like, well, like there's only a hookah missing. Lunar Lorcan. I can read the books. I know that. And my alteration skill increased. I was hoping on that because those are, well, if there is a mage keeping books, those books should be doing something, right? Okay, has yeah, so the skulls of, of his servants. Well, I guess that's kind of kind of common amongst mages. Did I miss something real quick? Just so... Okay, I did not. So let's head back downstairs. This is not where I needed to go. I am looking for a place with a hole in the ceiling. This goes downstairs. Let's real quick check out the downstairs. As this door is trapped. I don't want to delta fur. Okay, now I understand what she means. This is basically exactly the same person. And uh, no, I don't want to talk to you, basically. I want to see where I can go from here. This is the coprosarium. I don't want to catch the disease, so I'm not going to in go inside there. What do we have here? A dwemer, a dwarven chest. Nope. Okay, so I guess it, it was in the main hall and I was just too blind to see. Let us see real quick. There must be some kind of... Well, if she tells me I need to fly, there needs to be somewhere I need to fly from, right? Is it from here to... Up there somewhere? No, there's. I don't see any platform that I need to go to. Okay, this is a little bit confusing. She tells me I need to be able to fly, and maybe I was too blind upstairs. So let's see the hall of fur. And yes, I was too blind upstairs. There we go. This is where we need to fly. Let us do drop a quick save because we only have one potion. The rising force potion. And there we go. And I don't want to miss out, I guess. This is the person we are looking for. Sir, Mr. Edith Fur, <clears throat> I'm sorry to disturb you in your studies, but I've got an urgent message from the Telvani Council for you. Uh, not interesting, sorry. Not your fault, perhaps, but you're not interesting, and I can't waste energy talking to boring people. Well, as I said, I just... I just want to deliver this message. A message from Master Arian? Yes, I will accept this message. There you are. Please wait here while I read this. In just a minute I will write a reply. Okay, let's wait. Here, take this back to Mouth Gallus Mathandis. Tell him that I must reject his master's thought proposal. Okay. Thank you. I'll be off then. Bye bye. <clears throat> Well, to be honest, I'm going to check, uh, just being curious here. I mean, after all, I am a cat, right? Okay, there's just some supplies. Quickly, Outlander, or go away. Another one of his wives, in air quotes. Nope. That hurt a little bit. Well, don't care. Let's get back downstairs.
And here we go. We want to go back to the council, which is this way, Sedrath Mora. So let's do the walker, wa walker vaulting again. Exactly. Water walking again. And we are already running, as it seems. Ah, the sun goes up. There we go, heading off into the distance. We're now in the Asura coast region. Let's head over to this here island. Very quick refreshing the water walking. And we will take the reply, which I guess is coded also, back to the council. Okay, there is something here. I guess this was some kind of tomb or something. Let us see. Yeah, that's that's a um, burial place. That's a typical name for a burial place. And of course I can't cast the spell while I am fatigued. So I'm going to real quick... Let's first head over here and then real quick do a little... Do a little wait to recharge our fatigue. Before we do the next water walking spell. So let's wait over here. Uh, fatigue recharges very slowly. But I think it should. We don't need full fatigue to be able to cast the spells properly. We just need to wait until the negative modifier wears off enough. I think that should be enough. There we go. Now we can walk over the water again. And of course, we will rest and meditate over what we learned. But first, we're going to take the quest back. And I first need to check where that was. It was over here, right? This is the Talnaga Tower, and this is Elf Scaring. I think it was somewhere around here. Let us turn around and check and here the frames drop again. As I said, this should not be an issue anymore when I'm no longer encoding the video basically twice, once for the stream uh, with some overlays and once for the recording, which does not have the overlays, but the raw video feed. This is why I, the raw game feed, this is why I have to do it twice. And I will do this on a dedicated machine. There's the entrance. Yep, the council house. I did remember correctly. Huzzah! And we enter the council hall and go to Let us check. Galos Mathendis. That is him. Galos, I brought them, I delivered the message and um, I got a reply. There it is. Have you delivered the coded message? What did I just say? Yes, of course. Has Dive forgiven you a response to my patron's message? Yeah, here it is. Thank you, Nighty. I will deliver this message to my patron, Master Arion. Please take this courier fee of 500 drakes. Oh, thank you. Do you think, perhaps by chance, it is time for some advancement? Yes, we find you worthy of retainer. Thank you very much. Uh, what brings you here, Nighty? Do you want chores? Of course. 
however you pronounce that word. Um, well, I wanted to ask if you just pronounced me a retainer, maybe there is more in for me? Yes, we find you worthy of Oathman. I am now an Oathman. Interesting names for the ranks. Oathman, really? Yeah, you have the skills we seek, but you have not done enough course for House Tel Telvanni. Oh, oh, how about some more then? I'm happy to do some tasks. The Telvanni Apothecary in Telvos is running out of Cure Blight potions. Since my patron, Master Orion, is responsible for Telvos in a sense, he's asked me to find someone to deliver a Cure Blight potion. Well, I'm happy to deliver. Andal in Telvos is the Apothecary and you should speak with. Get three potions of Cube Light and deliver them to Andil. And I forgot I forgot doing the voice, I'm sorry. You'll have to buy them from one of the vendors. Andil does not accept homemade potions. Well, basically the game engine does not accept homemade potions. Well, there we go. We have ourselves a quest, but first we're going to sleep. Thank you very much. Is there something I can do for you? Well, no, I'm just going to go and have a rest. And I think I'm going to go to that lovely inn and maybe even rent the room where the ghost was. Mm -hmm. Now, what do you think? This guy doing our dishes? I mean, It's an Argonian, after all. A lot like one of us furred creatures. Yes, what do you want? He doesn't even have fur on his head like those humans and elves have. So, I guess that's okay then. Oh, I can even enter. <laughs> I always forget that I can enter the house here. I thought this was... No, this is just a door. Yeah, exactly. Khajiit are better than lizard. See, even my friend here knows what I'm talking about. This is why I'm going to free him. Not now though, but um, yeah. Glurong Grashula. Mm -hmm. Gateway in. This is where I want to go. The gateway in. I need. F I first need to pay for the room, of course. Can't go in sleeping in beds of other people without paying for it. Quiet. I'm not going to. Do you know where I can get some beds? No, you don't. Thank you. I guess I need to. Oh, that's. That's not the person I wanted to talk with. There should be... Anytime you're ready. Just don't keep me waiting. There it is. Yes, I want to rent a bed. 10 gold for the rest of the day. Thank you. You can use the second floor loft. Well... Is this the first floor? So what do you want? Well, let's see. Yeah, that's that's the place that I rented. There's the lives of the saints, and I'm going to sleep in this hammock until I'm healed. And I've ascended to level seven. You resolve to continue pushing yourself. Perhaps there's more to you than you thought. First of all, I'm going to take these two because it's it's. Well, it's it's hard, actually hard to judge. Um, I do know that I need more magicka. I do know that I need more fatigue, but um, yeah, no. Um, this is also maximum. This is also maximum fatigue, and it's times five. So I'm going to take this, and of course we are walking way too slow. So I'm actually going to do what I wanted to do from the first, from the get go take the four points in speed, the five points in agility, and two points in intelligence. There we go. Now we're a little bit faster. 
I'm a busy gal, so if you could hurry this up, what do you do? Everyone talks to me at the same time. I must be a very, very popular man. So let us head back up. This is... I think we need to go more downstairs. These buildings are so confusing for me. Yeah, that's... that's and now you see why I usually take the outside door, this this door, because I exactly know where I'll end up. So we need the cure potions and then we need to figure out how to get to Telvos, maybe by boat. So this sign here seems to indicate that this is an apothecary or an alchemist or something. Yes. yes Ma'am, I do need to, to conduct some trading with you. Please go ahead. Yes, Nighty. I'm Pierlet Rostorad. Go ahead. I'm sure you have questions. Well, my main question is if you have a cure. I actually have to real quick look it up. Was it? It was cure blight. If you have a cure blight disease, a potion. Oh. <laughs> Question is if the quality matters. Ah, there is no there is no quality, so I need three of those. Thank you very much. Yeah, I'm actually going to give you a little bit more than that. Thank you very much, and I'm going to. I just wanted. I just nearly said thank you for your patronage, even though I was the patron. Um, now let us see if we already have been in Telvos. This is Telfer, Cedrith Mora. I think that was Dagonfell, right? I guess we should try the boat. Lack spikes. Mm -hmm. There was some sound over there. Okay. I guess if I had walked the other way, it would have been faster. Well, yeah, it would because we need to go through that gate again. Nice sunlight over here. It's rather pretty. Of course, when I started to play this, like one week after I did, I. Uh, you know, that was <laughs> me automatically walking up to the guild hall, uh, to the house, Talani Hall. Um, yeah, this is where I want to go. Uh, of course, I noticed that there is an open source remake of the whole engine with better graphics and everything. And I started this game here and um, yeah, I should have started the other one. Not just because of the better graphics, but because it would be, it would have been something new. On the other hand, this is also new because, as I said, I've never played a mage like this before. Okay. Sir, can you bring me to Telvos? Telmora, Dagenfell, Telbranora. Those are pretty weird names, to be honest. Let's see. I think these are all... I guess these are all the little islands around here, so I'm... I think I need to just try around. Now let us see. Let us go for the cheapest trip. So where did we end up? Down here. 
So from Sedrith Mora to Tel Mora, okay. So um, I want to go to Tel Vos. So this this goes to Vos, which is one gold piece, so it must be right next door. And it is, it is basically over here. So maybe Tel Vos is close to here. I guess so because um, let's ask let's ask about Voss. Voss, I'm sorry, woman. Voss is an old Velothi farm village in the Graceslands. Dunmer have farmed here for centuries. Life's never been easy, and the Ashlanders have always raided and stolen our wickwheat and marshmallow. But our new Telvanni mage lord, Master Arion of Telvoss, protects us from the Ashlanders, and his Kronos fine new trade house and docks. Tell was his master's Arion's wizard tower. It's very strange. You have to see it to understand. Master Arion isn't afraid to try new things. Ah, so maybe tell means tower? Let's see. Okay, this seems like there is... There is some kind of settlement, non Telvani settlement here. Could this here also be the mage tower she's talking about? No, this is the Varo trade house, which is currently locked. Okay. Let us see if we can enter from the other side. Just because I'm curious and maybe someone can tell us about where this Telvos place actually is. Yeah, this is this is the official entrance into the trade house. I am looking for Telvos uh, or Master Area No. I bet it's somewhere completely different, even though the names are so close. So here's here's the thing, they, they did add the quest marker things in the later games, but doing so they basically just train you on just looking at the quest marker. And in this game you actually need to explore the land, you actually need to figure out where you need to go. So for example I could just say even though I'm looking for Telvos, I, I don't know where it is. It could actually be this city over here and that mage's tower could be there. So now I have a reason to actually try and get into the city or town or whatever that is and see if that mage tower is there. Before that, I would have just followed the quest marker and just went where I need to go. There it is, Telvos, perfect. That was exactly what I was hoping. Let's pick up some more things that we can do stuff with. So we want to go, so this is Voss. Let's check again. I need to bring it to Andil in Tel Voss, not in Voss. So let us head over this. This certainly does not look like a mage's tower. That's true, yes. This certainly looks like a fort. But it is where we want to go. This is certainly very unusual. Come on, let us check. So there is the southern tower. Ah, good to be back inside again. Let's find a fireplace where we can warm up. Heading upstairs, nothing here. This seems to be just the tower, is it? There's a door over here. Let's close the door behind us. Oh, not so few. 
I actually thought that he would not attack us. Oh, that's that's bad. I'm I'm actually not going to. I'm actually going to just load. Yes, clan fear, and here we are back. Back <laughs> all that time. I need to save more often. It seems. Well. I would say the uh, the episode is over now because, uh, well, the timer in the recording window shows 30 minutes, so that's one episode. And in the next episode, so you don't need to be too bored, but in the next episode we will real quick redo what we did and then head over to Telvos again and then not die facing the clan fear. I was completely unprepared. I actually thought, because it didn't attack us right away, I actually thought that it was n not hostile. Well, anywho. We will see not when the dice tell, but we will see each other next Monday. Bye-bye.